I've got my section cut out here. This is gonna be about an inch larger than I need it to be, so I have room to joint it and remove material from this side to get the exact seam I want. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna make a curve around here, and then I'm gonna to go to resaw it. But this is gonna be my board. It's gonna be book matched this way. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna run the saw down the, the edge of this board like that, and it'll make sawing this curve a lot easier. That is not bad at all, look at that. Took that down, I don't know, half inch or so. That'll be really helpful. I've gone ahead and sawed up one of the panels here. And uh, it's been here for probably about a week at least now. And I've got it clamped to the bench on a pretty flat section here. My bench has some undulations now over time, very light ones, but I've got it clamped. I've cleaned up both faces and it's going to open up like this as one option. I think it looks really quite spectacular. Or it could be this side. Well, actually more like this, just depends. But in any case, I've marked all the faces in the grain direction and everything. They're pretty consistent thickness, but I saw this on Instagram Live and I lost the video somehow. I thought I had saved it, but it didn't go through. So unfortunately, I don't have that video. The board that I was actually processing in the beginning of this video was this board. I'm gonna run through the other board, the one I it's about 12 inches wide, and uh, I'm gonna get that all ready to go, and then I'll saw that one for this video, and then I'll have a full video available for that for the whole time it takes to saw it, so you can get an idea of what exactly um, it looks like. It's not that terribly difficult, it just it is a little bit taxing in a few ways, um, energy, stamina-wise, and whatnot, but overall, it's uh, it was really quite straightforward, so. I'm going to move these somewhere else to make sure I keep them clamped down so they don't warp. But one thing I'll tell you is that this face and this face were the outside faces that were originally planed. These are the faces that were together when it was sawed. So I've been keeping them together to let them release moisture slowly and uh, rather than mix them all up and mix them all up and whatnot. I think any warping should be done by now, but I'm not going to take any chances at this stage in the game.
right, so I've planed up both sides now. I've got a good, about a little over eight inch wide panel here. I basically, really nice stuff. I can use most of this here. I'll, set, I'll cut it out the middle there. I didn't account for this right there. I wasn't looking, but I could have avoided it. I just didn't think. But it'll probably be cut off anyways, so I'm fine with that. Uh, it'll be fine because I'm going to lose most of it anyways. And yeah, so now I'm going to let it sit on the top here, uh, make sure it gets flat, and after a couple days, I'll come back and I'll just cut this part. I'm Andrew Malacy. You're here watching a live stream of the Hand Tooler YouTube channel. And uh, today I've got something a little different. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's going to be a live stream of me rip uh, resawing this 8 inch wide panel. This. So you can see I've already cut down like, I don't know, half inch, maybe more. A good saw should do the work for you. You're going to put effort into it, don't get me wrong. but. I should not be forcing it. This is good times. You ready for it? Get us like that. So it's gonna open up like that. Holy cow. Oh, you can tell I did, I went slightly off track around the knots because I was trying to push it harder through there. Here, let me show you. Can you see the little uh, lifting there? So my saw was pushing through and kind of bubbling in the middle. If you watch the Woodwright, uh, the Woodwright shop, when he makes his Rubo bolting book stand that folds, he'll, he says that exact same thing, that if you're pushing too hard through it, you, when the curve starts to open up as you get, get progress, the saw could actually start to wiggle in the middle and open up a, like a snaking curve. So, so here's the idea, like some sort of grain like that, or, yeah, some sort of grain like that, or like this. I think it's gonna be like this, where it's sort of coming up to a point on either side. All right, so here are my two panels. I've resawed both of them. So here's a panel and here's a panel. I'm going, uh, then I went ahead and plated them down. I've got my faces chosen, and now I'm gonna start processing them and to uh, do any planing I need to do to joint them, then to glue them, and then actually fit them to the sides where they're gonna go. So I'm gonna, I've actually been holding them uh, down with clamps and uh, I'm just doing that to minimize any possible distortion or warping that could happen even though the boards are not really that moist they didn't have a whole lot of moisture content I just want to make sure since I opened up new grain that was on the inside that I just take precaution so there's that again so here's the first panel I resawed that looks really nice Love that. And here's the second panel. It's actually gonna go like this. Ooh, that was close. Which is great. So yeah, I'm gonna joint the edges on both of them. And then I will uh, I will lay out exact then I'll lay out exactly what I want to be the part that I keep for the panel. I'll probably just remove material from the middle right here so that the grain meets up kind of nice. And uh, I kind of, I mean, that's okay there, but I'll just remove it and then from the edges as well because I want to get rid of that sapwood. I just need to keep about 15 inches across the whole width here. And I've got more than enough. I've got 15 and, well, I need 14 and a half. 
But I'm gonna keep 15 and then I will, uh, I'll remove any extra I have to as I'm fitting. So I'm excited about this. All right, now that I've joined them, I've got a bit of a test here. I'm just checking to see my seams. They look like they're gonna line up really nicely. I'm, ex I'm really happy with the grain, the way it looks here. Seems like everything will just sort of be seamless, which is great. And I like how it's got almost a W here. So that looks good. Um, leaves me room to remove off the sides if I have to. And yeah, this looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it at this point. Just gonna make sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna glue it and go from there. All right, so here's my little clamping jig. Uh, I, I noticed that the panel was sort of bowing in a little bit with the pressure of the clamp. So on the sides here, it's basically a sprung joint. I left a little gap in the middle that I closed up with this one clamp. And that one, I overdid it on the other one. But uh, since it was bowing and leaving like, it was bowing on the sides, I just put my straight edge over it after I cleaned up all the glue and just sat my plane on top of that. And that gave me a nice, pretty flat panel. So I'm gonna leave like this and come back in a couple hours and see what happens. All right, so I've just taken them out of the clamps and I couldn't be happier. They ended up being nice and flat, not distorted or anything. They're sitting really nicely. I'm just really happy with the grain. As you can see, they both sort of come to, they have this, uh, they have this curve that takes it to the middle on both of them. So it really looks nice. This one could almost look like a single board, uh, but but I love how the grain is very straight on both sides.
All right, so I've done quite a bit of fiddling with the panels. I've cut it all up into the, the two parts it needs to be. So here's the bottom parts. And you're gonna see me assemble it. That's a good fit. Then the middle parts. Yep. Then the top panel. Very tiny. And this one, I mean, again, has bevels all the way around. And then the top piece. And clamp it down in the bottom here. Got a little bit of a gap here at the top, probably because it's just a little shifted, but Right now, I am pleased with that. I mean, look at that continuous grain. Look at that. I'm so happy. It's exactly what I invented. It's exactly what I envisioned. Exactly what I had in mind. Very, very solid. There's a little bit of play in them, and I can, you know, I can live with that, really. And uh, this is just great. Mm -hmm.